I can live with you tonight. Go get some money later. It works. I can live with you tonight. Get some money later. I can live with you. It worked both ways, but I, I like go get some money later. All right, knock yourself out. Oh, hell no. Coming as a few doves, or you come in as an individual lead. What do you think? What do you mean? Because we can, like, do one written, and then we can do a freestyle on another joint, bro. Why not? It's clean. Now we just need now we just need some energy and a bounce to that thing. Uh, Alright, you ready? Yeah. On you. Right. I ain't just another statistic, which I do better. Don't gotta go all ballistic and get a new beretta. Stay fed, make bread, and keep my hands clean instead of banking off of the bag, serving the dope fiends. Exceed what I believe that I can achieve. I got dreams and I believe that I can succeed. I got a Now listen, this shit hereditary And I'ma teach it to my kids Until I hit the cemetery As far as I can see it If I got it, then you got it too You ain't gotta worry about my past And what I went through I keep the clothes on your back And your tummy full Remember knowledge is power You better stick to school Don't let the others influence Determine how you live They can take it all from you With the shank of a shiv Alright y'all, let's posse up Over this way Feel free to spread the chairs out if you need more space or bring a chair for the next time. Cool, cool, cool. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, so, y'all kind of have a little bit of background on what this is. We kind of came together with the idea to, of creating a, a media project, which was already kind of on the table. We decided to kind of remix it and add a music element to it. So. Uh, we knew we wanted to get some documentary style footage of some of the brothers that we bring together, kind of just talking about uh, how they feel about their community, uh, ways they want to see it improve, or way they, ways they can help it improve, what they see themselves being or doing in the future, and ways that they can help uh, create change in their communities for other black men and men of color. But we also, so we wanted to put a musical spin on that. I purposely handpicked a lot of y'all just because I, I love all your varying styles of music and I'm a fan of all of y'all and so you know y'all don't make the same type of music but it is all you know hip-hop soul rap whatever you want to call it it's all based in the same mm -hmm. so uh, I want to see how y'all can collaborate and create and come bring those different ingredients to it so be open to what other people do um, and just be mindful of, of everybody else in this space can I give a little context? Yes. yes. So the, the thing that we want you guys to keep in mind is we are here to hear your voices. We are here to access your experience so it can be something that other kids can learn, other, not other kids, but other men can learn from, other young men, other old men, because it's intergenerational. You see that we, we're, expand, we're spanning <laughs> a large amount of age here. But My Brother's Keeper is an organization that is governed by the Intermediate School District as well. So we want to keep things positive as much as possible. We're not going to censor a lot of your content, but we just want to keep you, keep, we want you to keep in mind that the goal of this is to create something of positive value. So I just want to kind of put that out there. Any questions about that? So that means that, I mean, this, he's not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And um, the, the, content that we create we're trying to put it in a position where it's as accessible to as many people as possible so it's very important that we keep that in mind cool everybody understand that mm -hmm. yes, okay. that's simple also in this don't <clears throat> hate uh we want to stay away from hate speech so when we do our songs and create these songs we don't want to be calling women out of their names we don't want to have any sort of i know we, some we might have some affiliations and 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 or you may be a, related to somebody with affiliations and all that, but when we're in this space between these walls doing my brother's keeper work, we want this to be the the, the primary affiliation that we we're concerned with. What you do outside of here, we can't really control. We know that, but uh, we want to keep uh, hate for the other side or whoever you uh, may want to address away from these songs that we create. Right. So yeah. tonight's focus is on chemistry trying to develop chemistry. What we plan to do is we plan to take this experience that we have tonight 
and start to make some decisions about how we want to move forward. So we've created two teams of you, and your charge tonight is to make a song. But you only have an hour and a half. So it's important that you choose a vision quickly. The subject matter can be whatever you choose for it to be. Um, we're not going to point you in a certain direction tonight or anything. We want to kind of see you at your best in a pressure situation. This isn't making the band. We're not, you know what I'm saying, sending people to go get cheesecake and all that. But we want to see in, a, in certain parameters how you perform. I'ma slide through despite the animosity. Yeah. Fuck negativity, cause I'm positive. I had a woman to address the grown man in me. Salute a woman, cause you gotta know the women are queens. At right, time that it's time for the kings to be kings. My brothers keep us, so you know my brothers keeping me. Hey, my name is uh Sam Watson, aka Sam Watson. <laughs> TJ, or DJ TJ. I know it's kind of funny that way, but. <laughs> my name's Taylor Michael. I go by True Classic. So, my name is TJ Greggs. Uh, my stage alias is Louis Cypher, L-E-W-Y-S-E-I-F-E-R. I've developed just as an artist and as a person through my art, you know what I'm saying? I come from a musical family on both sides. I was always introduced to music as a kid growing up. Um, so uh, you, uh, you pretty much would hear Temptation, Stevie Wonder, Ice you Brothers, Prince, and you know, Donny Hathaway, and just Otis Redden, and like Nirvana, and Pearl Jam. What motivated me or inspired me to get in the booth finally was just one person saying, yo, where's your music? You have any music? I know you sing and you do all of this. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Let me make some music. <laughs> My brother moved in with me when I was about like 11, like 10 or 11. And uh, he was he was a rapper, and I saw the process. He was recording at the house. I, he was making his own beats. He was recording all his own shit. So I saw that, and then kind of just wanted to take a swing at it. So I ended up doing that and just being trash for like five, six years. And then I finally started sharpening up the craft, you know? Music has played a major role. Like, um, the biggest thing is just like getting my jumbled mind state out of my head and writing it down, because like, my mom always told me when I was younger, she was like, everything always seems horrible while it's in your head. The minute it's out your head, it's not as bad as it actually is. And you can actually prioritize on how to tackle an issue. It's the process of performing like, as well. Like, I love that process. And, you know, it's probably the music, music more. Like rapping, yeah, probably rapping. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just so much more personal and direct. You know what I mean? Beats, it's just music without words and like you can draw your own interpretation from it. Same with art, like visual art. But with words, I feel like that's much more direct and I can say a lot more, be more direct and clear with what I want to say. This is where I, this is where I'm the most comfortable. You know, this is where I know I can be me. And I know I can be me without the music, but it's something about the music that you can just express yourself even more. In, in terms of just how you really feel, what you really want to say. Music gives you that type of freedom, and aside from just actually just speaking it out loud.